Happy Monday. Choices. We get choices. It starts as soon as I open my eyes, I get a choice. And sometimes that choice seems out of reach. And I, and, and some days I don't feel like I have a choice. I just wake up and I feel, you know, apart, separate. I don't feel grateful. I feel sad. I feel lacking. And it's, it's been necessary for me to make a conscious choice to shift my perspective. Oh, yeah. I get to wake up. <laughs> I get to have this day. I get to have this experience. I get to meditate. I get to go to exercise somewhere. I get to have breakfast. I get to have coffee. I get to do all of these things. And I can claim or choose gratitude. And sometimes that's a difficult choice. With all the things that I know that I have going on, I still find it challenging to choose that. And that's an old narrative. It's an old perspective. It's an old choice that, that you know, that look, life is not easy, quote unquote. It doesn't need to be all an uphill battle, that's all a choice and perspective as well. And I think even the classification of easy or difficult, as I'm getting older, I think it's kind of a bullshit judgment. Because all of those judgments fall in line with how life is satiating me. It's a selfish perspective. It's the judgment that life is not going exactly the way Jeff has ordered it. Okay. That doesn't mean it's not going in the right direction. It's a selfish, self centered egotistical perspective as opposed to I'm awake and I'm grateful for the day. I'm just grateful for this experience. And then judgment kind of lifts and I'm like, oh yeah, like, okay. You know, if, you know I get the, the job or you know, whatever. I, I get the relationship I think that's gonna solve everything or complete me. All of that, it's been proven either by my own experience or experiences of friends close to me or family that that's not gonna solve the ailment of me or of them or the, the longing or the emptiness that maybe they kind of feel, the emptiness that I have felt has been an inner, you know, it, it has come from inner peace, not from an exterior validation. The exterior validation, you know, works, uh, and it only works retroactive, or it works uh, in diminishing returns. Uh, it doesn't work for a long period of time, you know. It can work for a little while, but the most sustained quote unquote happiness or serenity that I felt comes from the inner work, the peace of mind, the, uh, the comfort in my own skin. But being comfortable in my own skin has not come, at least in my, in, in my experience, from exterior stuff. Yeah. I mean, small doses, but nothing sustaining. It always diminishes after a few days or a week, and then I'm like, oh, the next thing. But the times that I felt most serene and level, it just comes from a routine, a practice, the choices. And, you know, the choices that align me with a, a sense of serenity, you know, rather than this right or wrong choice, another judgment, like right or wrong, it, I don't know, I guess the, the more, the, the, the choice that brings me in congruency with this, this sense of joy, peace. And when I'm doing those things, I'm closer to that. And yeah, and that's enough. 
you know, but I, you know, my instinct is always like, how do I bottle that? How do, what's the pill? And I've, I've chased that illusion, uh, for years because you can get drunk, you can take the pills, you can take all these exterior medications or drugs to create that sensation. But then other things fall apart, <laughs> at least for me it did, whether it was my life or my freedom or my sanity. I couldn't sustain anything by, uh, by those means. So here I am, you know, I'm on like uh, the dial up of uh, spiritual connection, the slow and steady, the, you know, next indicated right action. My perspective shifts sometimes as, as quickly as the couple minutes that I've been doing this. You know, it helps shift my perspective and I have a levity to myself. So, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. Much love.